When the government of Eswatini announced that we would be in lockdown for 21 days, my heart sank. I knew life would be difficult for me. I have no other source of income except for my sweets business, which requires me to travel to town to sell. Things have been very tough. I must rely on my relatives who are also struggling to put food on the table. I can't even go to the shops as police are everywhere, monitoring our movements. Poverty will expose us to the virus. I share a room with my husband and my two children, and I fear that I will not be able to adhere to the social distancing requirements and expose my family to the high risk of contracting the virus. Staying at home would be difficult due to hunger. As a result of food shortages, we are forced to move around and search for help from our neighbors, thereby exposing ourselves and our communities to the virus. I have heard in the media that we'll be getting some food parcels and cash, but I'm yet to receive this. What makes things tough for me is that we are expected to protect ourselves from this pandemic by washing hands and wearing face masks. But because of my sight problems, I cannot see these things well and I don't know how to properly use them. I do not have access to adequate information about the virus because I don't have a battery for my radio. As a blind person, I rely on family support to ensure that I have water and soap to wash my hands. This over-dependence means my relatives can be hostile towards me. Everyone is depressed by this pandemic. We are running out of food. Each day is a nightmare. I feel like life was better before the lockdown as I was able to make ends meet. I wish we could get more support from the government since we have run out of food and we do not have the money to buy soap and face masks. We appreciate the government's effort to contain the spread of the virus, but I strongly feel food shortages should be addressed as a matter of urgency. Most of all, I really wish this emergency could end soon so that I could go back to my normal life.